What's up you guys, Alan Ryan back again. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're going to breathe some new life into this Amazon fourth generation Kindle. I have this idea to preload this with some amazing books and gift it to my dad for his birthday. If you wanna follow along, this is gonna run you around $25 on eBay. This is the Amazon Kindle fourth generation Graphite D01100. So go ahead and pick one up for yourself. If you wanna follow along with this tutorial, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first step is we'll go ahead and search for what we're looking for here, and I've already typed it in. So Amazon Kindle fourth generation D01100 is what we're looking for. And if you scroll down, uh, these top ones uh, looks like are sponsored. Uh, but if we come down here, this is a top rated plus, and this is 1994, it is pre-owned. Um, but it looks like this is what we're looking for here. So go ahead and click into that. And if you have the funds, go ahead and buy it now. This looks like it'll cost you around $20 and after shipping and handling, I think, uh, let me see what's the shipping cost. Oh, shipping is free, so 20 bucks, not a bad deal. So we're gonna go ahead and click buy now and uh, wait for our product to come. Okay, so it came in, so this is from eBay. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so a couple cables here as shown in the picture. And here is our Amazon Kindle. So it looks like it's a little bit lightly used, but hopefully that's not too much of a problem. And I think out of the box, it's going to have some old software on it. So we'll need to do some software upgrades before we can put any books or anything on it. So let's do that first. Let's go ahead and charge it first and then do the software upgrades. All right, looks like we're mostly charged up here. So I think next we just need to go ahead and turn it on, which is this, this button on the bottom. And from here, all right. And so this is actually a pretty important point. Uh, at the bottom of your Kindle version, after you click this settings button here, it's going to show you which version of Kindle that your Amazon for uh, Kindle is on. So you'll want to take a look at that. Here, ours says, M I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that. It says Amazon Kindle 4.1.3. So I'm gonna post in the description below where to find the software upgrades onto your Amazon Kindle. Uh, I believe the latest version is 4.1.4. So we're gonna go ahead and update this to the latest version. But make sure you check that out in the description below and I'll show you how to do that on the computer next. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to Google and type in Amazon Kindle device updates. From here, you'll see this site, the software updates. Go ahead and click on that one. You wanna go down to Kindle e-reader, software updates, and then you want to go down to find the fourth generation Kindle, which is what we just purchased. Note here that if your device is on an older version than 4.1.3, you need to click here first to find the previous version. So go ahead and click on, I'll click on that to show you if you do have one of those older devices, uh, you, you'll you have to go through each software update manually, which is fine. So you'll just uh, start here and move your way up depending on what software update you're on. Since I am currently on 4.1.3, then we're gonna go ahead and be allowed to just download this 4.1.4 update so I'll go ahead and uh, click here and download it. I've already done that. So I have the update saved onto my desktop already. All right, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and plug in your Kindle into your computer and it should pop up your Kindle folder. If, it, if nothing pops up, you might have to search for it in your computer drive. If it still doesn't pop up, you might have a faulty cable. That happened to me once before, so just uh, don't get too freaked out if nothing pops up for you. Uh, so now that we have this up, this update that we just downloaded, we're going to go ahead and drag into our folder here. And now that that's complete, we're gonna go onto our Kindle and apply the update manually from our Kindle. Okay, so we've safely ejected our Kindle from our USB device. So from here, just go ahead and click on the home button if you're not already on home. From home, it's gonna ask you to connect to Wi-Fi. We'll just ask to remind us later. 
From here, we want to click on the settings button, go down to settings, click OK. Now that we're in the settings page, click on this settings button one more time. And then now we can scroll down to update your Kindle. And we want to say OK. So basically, it's finding that bin file that we just put on there, and it's going to update with that file. So we click OK. And it's saying we're about to update it. OK, great. And so now it's manually doing the software update. OK, so it should have flashed to a screen to you that said update successful. After you've finished that, then you can connect it back to your computer. Now we're interested in downloading some books that we can put onto our Kindle device. So a site that I like to use to download books is lib.gen. Lib .gen. So go ahead and Google lib.gen and it'll bring up library Genesis. So this is where you can search for books uh, in all sorts of different formats. Uh, it's kind of like an open database of books. Uh, now I highly recommend that you if you support an author and you like books, you should totally purchase and support the author. But if you want just a copy, uh, a backup copy, you can feel free to use this site. So let's just uh, type one in, like how about uh, Tools of Titans. And I already own this book, so I'm gonna go ahead and search it. So from here, we've pulled up Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. And you'll see that there's an EPUB extension version and there's a PDF version. Uh, so this Kindle actually uses a file type called Mobi, so it's .mobi, but there is a way to convert our EPUB file extensions to Mobi. Now if we were to download the PDF version, uh, you could also do that and put it onto the Kindle. The problem I have with doing that is the format looks very zoomed out and it's hard to read. These Kindles, they, the Mobi file format makes it easier to read and the words are a little bit bigger and easier on the eyes. So we're going to stick with either a Mobi file form, formats or EPUB and then convert them to Mobi later. So let's go ahead and download this one here. So we're gonna click on this title. And then after it brings you to this window, from here go ahead and click on the title one more time. and you'll want to select get. And after you select get, go ahead and download it to uh, wherever you'd like. Make sure that you note that it is an EPUB file format. So I'm gonna do it to my desktop. Okay, so the download should be successful at this point. So next step is we're going to convert that EPUB file to a Mobi file. Okay, so we've downloaded our book. So now we're going to go to Google and we're gonna type in uh, EPUB to Mobi converter. And you'll see here's a site that I've already used before. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, it's very simple. So you just choose the file that we just downloaded or whichever files that you've, you could do multiple at one time but we're just gonna do one for an example. And we're going to find our EPUB file. There we go, open. And so you'll see it uploads the file. Then you can hit start conversion. There's also some, you can also make some customizations here, but I usually I just leave it at default settings. Click start conversion. And it says that my conversion has completed, so now we'll download the file now as a Mobi file, and we'll just put it on my desktop. Okay, so that is complete. So I've gone ahead and done that with a number of books here. You'll see all sorts of books that I think that my dad would be interested in reading. So you'll note that all of these are now Mobi files, and that's very important because if they're not Mobi files, then it's not gonna work on your Kindle. So from here, uh, we will want to pull up our Kindle folder here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag all of these Mobi files that we now have downloaded in our folder, Books for Dad, and move them into our Kindle folder.
and I believe they should actually be in the documents folder. So I'm actually going to drag them over there. And so now those files should all be in my Kindle documents folder. So now when you pull up your Kindle, it should show you all the different books that you now have available to you. And uh, it should be ready to gift to your, to your dad or for your personal use if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so now on your Kindle, you should, uh, when you go to the home screen, you should see all the different books that you just put on your Kindle device. So if we go ahead and test one, let's go down to The Alchemist, which we downloaded and put it on our Kindle and open it up. And it brings us to The Alchemist book. So here uh, it should have full Kindle functionality. So if we click on this write button, it should advance to the next page. And it looks like everything is working perfectly. All right, so that should conclude our tutorial. And so I hope you found that valuable. Now make sure that you don't sell this device because after you download co content and put it on your Kindle and then you sell it, that would actually be copyright infringement. So everything you do today with downloading uh, books and uploading it for your personal use, um, do it at your own risk. I don't advise you downloading property without having paid for it. So uh, if you have a lot of books, but you want to reconcile them and put them on your Kindle, then this is a great tutorial for you. So in summary, do this at your own risk and don't be an idiot. Make sure that you support the authors. So that concludes our tutorial on how to put books on your Kindle device. And uh, one feature that I like about this Amazon Kindle 4 is that it's not backlit. So you're actually not gonna get those uh, blue waves at night when you're trying to sleep. Uh, it is just a graphite version. So it looks a little bit more like paper, which I actually enjoy. And these are very inexpensive and there's no like not a lot of ad uh, bloatware on here. So I hope you found this tutorial valuable. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit the like button down below and comment. Let me know any other videos that you'd like me to make and I'd be happy to look into it. Have a great day.